you don't have to choose your arrival until you get there, right? Because winds change yeah, between you, now and then. You'll pick up the ATIS and they'll say whatever runways they're landing. Yep. And then uh, that's kind of where you know they can load the approach. All right. We are taxiing to one runway nine right and uh, getting ready to uh, take off. Yeah. This. Yeah. Look at this guy. <laughs> Charlie Lima, maintain right side all taxiways. Taxi Coming right on in. <laughs> That's a carrier approach. Look at him. <laughs> Must be doing like engine out uh, yeah. practice. Yep, little approach. So, uh, destination today is uh, St. Augustine. And uh, we'll be going probably. Yeah, they're probably just going to route us. Yeah, they're routing us to Kaiser. Kaiser and then... Kaiser's off the water, isn't it? No, Kaiser's uh, in... in um, inland. Okay. Inland, yep. So we're going to be going to, to the west uh, west of uh, Daytona. Yep, we'll go around Daytona, try to get some filming in there. But uh, kind of a cool opportunity here. First time in a 22. Thanks to Mike. And... Uh, All right, we're here. Welcome to the, welcome to the ride. All right. Sanford Tower, Cirrus, November 366 Delta Mike, holding short, nine or right. 366 Delta Mike, Sanford Tower, hold short, running nine or right. Hey everybody, it's uh, mid-July and um, thought I would get you up to speed with what's happening with the channel. I have been uh, flying where I can due to the COVID pandemic and um, you know there have been a couple of issues that you've probably seen on, on the uh, channel with the uh, PFT problem and the, and the backlight. That's now been fixed. I did have to go and uh, pull the wallet out uh, and go to, with, the, uh, with the Aero plan and uh, I did send it back and, and to Avidine's credit they turned it very Quickly, it's back in the plane, it's working perfect. And uh, I don't really have to worry too much about that Integra system until next year's payment is due for the Aero plan. But if you do have an Integra equipped airplane, they've only made so many Integras. That's the uh, two screens in the Cirrus. So it's a good idea to uh, get that plan because usually you're sending yours back and they send it back repaired. It is the same serial number. There was a, I guess it was a power inverter inside the uh, PFD that drove the light. So that was all fixed up. And they did upgrade it. So they did upgrade it to uh, the current software. It looks a little bit different. Had some issues the other day with uh, not realizing the autopilot was on because they moved the little AP from one side of the screen to the other side of the screen. So... Uh, I ended up fighting the controls for a while before I realized uh, the autopilot was still on. But little things like that happen, and that's uh, what it's like when you learn these airplanes. So the plane is flying great, and I hope to bring you more uh, videos uh, as I go through the process of getting my instrument rating in the SR-20. So that's the goal. Um, I want to get my instrument rating in this airplane. And uh, if I decide to go, you know, to an SR-22 someday, so be it. Um, but uh, right now I'm sticking with the SR-20 and I'm going to get to know this particular avionics package and we'll move on from there. So I did make a couple of uh, quick trips with uh, Mike, who you saw in the last video. And uh, I got some of those uh, that I want to show you here tonight. And that is an SR-22 and it is an awesome plane. It's got a composite prop on it, and it just pulls off the runway like crazy. So I'm real excited uh, to get to fly that. I'm going to actually get my um, uh, high-performance endorsement, endorsement in that plane. And uh, so just another uh, tick mark in the, um, in the flight book, in my log. And uh, Vern and I will be filming those, and hopefully I'll, I'll bring that. To you as well. It is a generation, well, it's an early generation two Cirrus, so it does have, uh, it's a little different than, than what mine looks like, but um, it'll be kind of cool to get to know that and learn, learn that aircraft. So stick around. 
Thanks for joining us, and don't forget to uh, click that like and subscribe, ring that bell. I really enjoy doing these videos. I do them because I have an SR20, and I see very few videos on SR20s. Lots of SR22s. Go Nico's Wings, go Stefan Drury, um, and uh, other aircraft that I really enjoy. Uh, uh, Baron Pilot and 310 Pilot, and those other uh, YouTubers. All great, great um, YouTube channels. So I hope to contribute to the YouTube world at large. Thanks for watching. Enjoy the footage. Are you saying attention? Okay, we're finally uh, off. Connect 343, we're clear of uh, Niner uh, right on Sierra 3. Connect 343, you want to taxi back for departure or back to the ramp? No, we're to taxi back uh, for departure. We're going to set up for a student solo over here. Connect 343, win 1003, I'll turn 3018, runway 9 and right, taxi via Sierra 01. Alright, Sierra 01. Okay, man, that's speed alive. Engines in the green. Alright. Skyhawk 733. And she's up. Man, she pulls like a mule. And she's climbing, we got positive rate, flaps up. Feet. Pitching for a hundred. Runway heading. Tampa Tower, just uh, for connection 343, uh, just a heads up. These will be all full stop. Taxi back for us for this. Uh, okay, caps. 343, Roger. Caps is available. We've got a bird up there. We're going to get around here. So I'll go um, heading. And this will find my heading. And I'll go indicated airspeed. Okay, so I'm on autopilot now, so it's going to capture my head. Let's listen. That thing pulls up like crazy. All right, 6 Delta Mike, turn left, heading 050. Left 050, 6 Delta Mike. Check it out. Hang on. Oh, nice. <laughs> Isn't that cool? Okay, we're coming up on 2000. That, that's our cleared altitude. For now.